Morning, everyone. So we're on a roof clean today. Uh, right in the middle of a storm. I think it's Aisha. Is it Aisha or something? Uh, it was 80 mile an hour winds in Scotland last night. So uh, we're just going to try today. We're not going to take any risks. Um, there's a smaller roof that we're going to clean today, and then we'll clean the bigger one tomorrow because the storms to pass. Uh, I ideally wanted to clean one big one side of the big roof today and one side of the small roof, but we're just uh, the wind's the wind's quite bad, so we're just getting the scaffold set up at the minute and then we're gonna uh, just crack on with the clean so we'll see how things go. With that, I'll let you see it. Sorry about the wind here, it's gonna be quite bad. So we're gonna clean this smaller roof today. This one, we're just getting a scaffold set up. We've tried to put a tarpaulin down. It's just like a kite, it's going everywhere, so uh, we're just going to clean the two smaller roofs because the large, the big roof is about four metres high, so we, we don't really want to be going up that high in this kind of weather. So, setting up the scaffold to do the this side of the smaller roof, and we'll do the other side, the back side of it as well. So we're just getting set up now, we're going to see how it goes. If it's too risky and I don't feel safe, we're going to cancel it and come back tomorrow. Bin's filling, machine's ready to go, fueled up, the uh, scaffold's up. Yeah, this car's broken down, so it doesn't move, so the lady's happy for us just to rinse it. But I've got it all jigged up, so we're going to start this roof, then we'll do the back side of this one, and then we'll do the bigger one tomorrow, because the wind's, the wind's not the greatest. We've took the downpipes off. Yeah, you can see downpipes are off, and I've got my little camera set up here, the tripod connected to the scaffold and we're just going to film like that see how we go yeah. so just about to get started um, we'll let you see how we go on all right when you're not here life is insufferable don't be a stranger even though we said boys darling i feel cause it's impossible cause i want you
massive difference. bit done. Right guys so we're just getting set up for round the front. Um, uh, so we're just setting up for round the front but this weather's brutal. It's absolutely bucketing down so uh, we're going to get the front part of the dorma done and then we're going to start on the, the bit of the other side of the roof that I started this morning. And then we'll see what time it is, because the weather's atrocious, as I say. So we'll see what time we're on. I've uh, I can move some stuff about, so we've still got this big roof to do as well. So time we move the scaff, we may need to come back tomorrow. Yeah, because it's quite a quite a big property, and as I say, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how we go. We'll try to stay positive, but. If I need to move some things about, I can. I'll, I'll just need to go and work Saturday because I've got gutters all booked for tomorrow. But I'll change it about if I can. My plan is this dormer, this dormer needs done. Obviously, we've got the height today because we were only two metres high yesterday. There's a bit in the ridge tile. The camera's not really focusing, but there's a bit on the ridge tile just there that I need to get. And then... We're just starting, so we've basically done the back corner behind this roof, we've done that. We're just about to start all this. See up here where my finger's pointing, there's a tile came off, so it's actually slid down onto the second tile. The focus is terrible, but you can just see a little bump. So I need to get a ladder up there when I'm over at that side and see if I can put the tile back on. I've let the customer know. That's how you just need to check and make sure, because you don't want to be getting blamed for things like that. So We'll crack on, so as you can see guys. Yesterday we'd have never got the ridge. Uh, so we'll get that done. And I just need to give this a little rinse. Uh, you can see the white lichen as well. So I'll get bits of that to rinse and then we're on to this big roof. Over in the far corner just there. 
you can see the tile it's fell down there's a hole I don't know if that's going straight into the loft or if there's anything there to protect it but we'll try and get up and see This day, this is honestly like a monsoon. Uh, there's just not a chance we're going to get any of this finished today, so I'm going to need to come back tomorrow and do it. Uh, Neil's up the scaffold just now, just trying to see him there. Right, it's just horrendous. The weather is destroying us, the two is soaking wet, and that's with waterproofs on. It's just not a good day at all. Enjoys a roof cleaning, but as I say, it's, this is not an easy job, man. So guys, would say it is. Though. You get guys that will make it easy eventually, like guys like Sid and that, that, that make it look quite easy. But they've got foot pedals and stuff. See if you've not got a foot pedal. Honestly, you're just you're constantly you're constantly just get your hand in that trigger. It's, uh, it's no good. So it's going to be a long day today, and then probably another long day tomorrow. So I'm just try to fill up fill my portfolio with roof cleaning try to get some more jobs yeah, from it so it's just uh, I've well underpriced this uh, I'm not going to lie I'll never be doing it for this price again that's for sure um, as I say you just sometimes you forget how much work's involved in it it's, it's not, it's, this is not an easy task and uh, for, the, for the money that I've charged it's, it's just not worth it so from now on it'll be a significantly higher price for anybody wanting any work done and if they don't want to pay it then that's fine I'd, I'd rather not do the work because it's just not worth it on your body just uh, a, lot of, a lot of risk involved for the money you're making so you want to be making sure you're making it worthwhile for the money so we're just going to crack on get this, this roof done get this roof done this side so this side of the roof and then we'll get this side to do it tomorrow unfortunately I'm
so we're just going to get cracking on. I just need to make a wee adjustment to my lance at the minute because I've got the pole too far, too far uh, forward. So I'll let you see that. So with the lance, obviously it comes like this, and you've got you've got the trigger here, but I've got my trigger. The trigger should be down here. So you're you're kind of wasting all this end of the pole because see when this this end of the pole's behind you. You're hitting it off the scaffold tower, so it's, it's making your, your day harder. So I need to slide this down. So you just unscrew the four little bolts there. Just slide it down. Sorry. Let's just try to fill them and do this at the same time. It's a bit hard. Uh, we want it kind of right down at the bottom if we can. Roughly about there. So a couple of inches for the bottom. And that way. So it's pretty easy to adjust it. You just, just screw the bolts back in. Like that. It's not been the greatest greatest couple of days. The, the, the weather's absolutely killed us. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me with the wind here. But, eh... Uh, it's just been, it's been one of the jobs, um, the wind, the weather, it's just the wrong time to be doing it, but we'll get it done, uh, you can't, you can't really when you do it, so we've got the scaffold up, the scaffold's up, just ready to crack on with this full roof here, hopefully get done about four hours last night watching Nick from Prestige's roof clean videos, and I've yet to see a person that makes it look as easy, uh, he does it all himself, no, no, nobody with him. Doddle. So yeah, I've seen a few things what he was doing where I've been kind of going wrong uh, with my pole. Uh, you want to be checking the pressure of your pole on the ground to make sure it's flowing, uh, stuff like that. Um, and you want it to be a little bit, a little bit more power in it when you're going further out because if you've got the power set with the, with the pole not extended, by the time you get it further out, 30 feet, there's not enough power in it to keep it floating. Just wee things like that you need to know. So I'm just going to crack on. I apologise for this one.